Hi, good afternoon everyone at the parish and uh, welcome to my latest update. Well, it's kind of an update that we're putting together from the whole parish council. So I thought I'd lead off and say, I'm so glad you're part of our parish and so thrilled that you're continuing to work through this COVID-19 epidemic and that we're a pandemic and that we're hopefully making some good strides in terms of making our parish a vibrant place, even though we can't be together as we had been in the past. We're still doing what we can, the best that we can to try to make it a really um, an important part of your life. And I'm grateful that you're sticking with us and being a part of this. So this is an opportunity to give you a little bit of feedback about what's going on from the administrative level and to help you understand a little bit of the direction that we're kind of going as we pursue, um, oh gosh, we're still pursuing the spiritual ministry of the parish despite everything else that's going on. And it may look a little different because of the circumstances, but I want you to be assured that we're attentive to what's going on and we're listening to what people have to say and we wanna further the conversation with you and with everyone in the parish. So we have a couple of things up our sleeves about what we're gonna have happen over the next few weeks and hopefully you'll be a part of that. First of all, I wanted to give you a candid update on my health a situation. Um, the first uh, issue is that we don't really know where we are uh, in terms of my health and uh, well-being in terms of the progression of my own disease and my own illness. Um, most of you know what's going on with me and that I'm dealing with a tumor on the brain stem of my um, uh, brain and that uh, I have just been through six weeks of chemo and radiation and it has left me drained with a significant weight loss, fatigue and a continued foggy heading, a foggy headedness that I'm still trying to kind of clear up after all those six weeks. So. I'm in my first week of uh, getting off of all of that. And so it takes a while to clear it out of my system. And hopefully I'll be, a bet I'll be at a better place as time goes on. But my honestly, my vision is still quite challenged. Um, I don't see very clearly. Most of the time I have a foggy kind of head and I have a distorted vision because of my left eye. Uh, my left eye is still seeing a, a sort of a double vision because of the, the, the way the tumor is blocking one of the nerves in my, um, uh, my trigeminal nerve right now. So it's affecting my facial, my facial, uh, it, facial neuropathy as well as the eye situation. Um, those seems to be the, this, those seem to be the only symptoms that are outstanding with the disease right now. So, um, in a, in a good sense, uh, we hope that this chemo and radiation has made a difference in terms of the size of the tumor and it, the, the aggressiveness of its growth, uh, but we won't know. And uh, the doctors have said that they're not gonna take another image uh, for three months, and then hopefully they'll have a better sense of how the chemo and the radiation has proceeded. In the meantime, I'm starting a second wave of chemotherapy treatments uh, in about three and a half weeks, beginning of the first week of October. And uh, this series is going to be a little bit different. Hopefully it's going to present, uh, well, I don't really know if it's going to be presenting more challenges or less challenges than the first protocol, but uh, it's going to be different. And hopefully I'll have the strength and the stamina to weather it and to deal with uh, what that's going to offer. So right now for me, for health, um, I'm dealing with fatigue, uh, still an appetite issue, uh, sleep, stomach and digestive kinds of circumstances and this continued foggy headedness and this dizziness. But we're hoping that within a few weeks, uh, a lot of that will be mitigated somewhat. So that's what's going on with my health. Um, not much to report in terms of great prognosis, but not much to report in terms of uh, any any aggressive kind of uh, concerns at this point. So just wanted to make sure that you understood uh, that we're still dealing with a really uh, kind of, oh, difficult situation in health. And uh, yet we're trusting God in the whole midst, mix of it. So, um, so all we can do in the end is put our hope and our trust in God and his 
leadership and his ability to help me continue to do what I want to do and what I think he wants me to do as we go forward anyway. Hi everyone, my name is Doug McCrady. Most of y'all know my family. Hi! On Parish Council, we've heard the concern that there's not enough communication coming from the parish, so I want to let you all know about a series we're calling Coffee with Parish Council. This is Parish Council's opportunity to hear from you, to hear from our parish, to understand what your concerns are, what you're going through, especially during these difficult times. Uh, our first one will be coming up later this month, and there will be a series of those, so look for more information in the next couple of weeks. Hello, I'm April Zion, your parish administrator, and we are here and we're working hard for you and we want to make sure you know that uh, the parish resources are here and available for you if you would like to have a small group meet on campus. Uh, the parish center is available for small group meeting. You can meet in the grassy area outside for small groups as well, or if you have a large group. A prayer group that would like to meet the church is an option as well. Just give us a call at the office for more details. We're excited to announce that beginning this Sunday at the 10 a.m. Mass, we will be live streaming to the gym um, during the 10 a.m. Mass for those who would like to celebrate in person. We are just happy that you continue to celebrate with St. Columba, be it in person, in a small group or in your homes, please continue to pray with us. We want you to know we're here for you too and we're praying for all of you. Uh, feel free anytime to give the office a call or stop by and see us or email any one of parish staff. We are here and we'd love to hear from you. Hello, I'm Chris Peterson. My wife Dee and I moved back to Durango about six years ago. And earlier this year, Father asked me to join the parish council. I am currently in the diaconate program for the diocese and hopefully in a year I'll be able to be your deacon. I've been asked to speak about something that's near and dear to my heart and that's small groups. We at the parish council want to encourage and support uh, everyone in, to engage their faith throughout the week and one of the great ways to do this is through small group sharing. Currently, I'm part of BBIC, Brothers Bound in Christ, where we get together once a week and we discuss either a video or a book, and it allows us to grow together deeper in our faith. Walking in faith with brothers and sisters who are trying to walk the same path is, is extremely helpful because we come to learn that we're not alone, and the troubles and the, and the victories that we have are common to, often to us all and sharing those is a huge help. Currently in the parish, we've got uh, several groups going right now, about five. These groups meet either on the parish uh, campus outside. Uh, some of them may be inside with the appropriate social distancing going on. Uh, several of them meet at private homes or uh, in parks, in places where they can meet safely. We also have two Y Disciple groups going for 10 uh, teens. Uh, these groups allow the, the young adults to come to know their own faith and to grow in ownership of their, their faith. And if anyone out there is interested in uh, participating in an ongoing group, call Kathy or April at the office for the list of the groups that are going on. And if you're interested in, in starting a group or learning how to facilitate a group, uh, call April because we've got training for facilitators coming up. We also need mentors for Y Disciple groups where uh, teens can come together. We can start some more Y Disciple groups. So this draw to small groups, this ability to walk with folks will really help us uh, grow as a community, especially during these times. And I appreciate it. And all my prayers are with each and every one of you as we go through this time. God bless. Good afternoon, St. Columba Parish. My name is Kevin Chick. I'm the principal of your St. Columba School Ministry. Um, I want to share with you today and celebrate with you today that your St. Columba School Ministry is open every day for direct instruction. We have 250 students 
uh, back on campus and with their teachers and with their friends. So uh, we're super excited about that and grateful every day uh, that we get to come to school. I'm sure there are some questions about how we went about opening school during this time of COVID. We did it with three goals in mind. One, we wanted to make sure we took care of the safety and health of our students, families, and teachers. Um, two, uh, we wanted to create um, the most familiar experience possible for our students. We wanted to create an environment that was recognizable with the least number of reminders that uh, we're in a worldwide pandemic, but also do it with the right safety procedures in place. And three, I uh, wanted to make sure that the teachers have an experience where their workload is balanced and the extra duties and worries and concerns that come with COVID won't diminish their fulfillment in their ministry. So we're super happy to be hope, open and always uh, continue to be grateful for the support of our parish. If you'd like to see a copy of the plan uh, for reopening, our school reopening plan, you can access that on our website. So God bless you and thank you. Uh, for continuing to support St. Columbus School. Hi, Marty Ginch here from the Parish Council. I really miss chatting and seeing you all. Uh, I know the Lord has put us through some things and a lot of challenges that are happening right now. And I just want to share with you some that's going on in the church. We're still doing First Communion. We're still doing a lot of sacramental preparations. And we're also looking for people to come in and, and be greeters and, and singers and, and ushers. You know, life is still going on and the Lord is still there asking us to come visit. Uh, I know it's real hard right now and uh, we all have struggles. I have struggles and you have struggles. But know that the Lord loves us and that's what's real important right now. And also that our church is still going and we're still welcoming and and uh and missing everybody's faces and, and chatting so it's time like you know i'm gonna start doing a little more too and and i look forward to maybe hopefully seeing you soon too and i know that god loves me and i know god loves you too so uh looking forward to seeing you soon and if you have any questions call the the front office at the parish office and ask what you can do to help um, but we look forward to uh, seeing you all soon, and, and uh, take care. We'll talk soon, won't we? Bye. Hi, St. Columba. This is Katie Bird, one of your parish council members. You may remember earlier this year, you took a survey, the Disciple Maker Index survey, through um, your email that was sent to you from this parish office. Uh, if you've been wondering about the results of that survey, just letting you, um, giving you an update that the parish council has received the results of that survey. And we've been working for a few months now with Deacon John from the Catholic Leadership Institute. And he has been helping us formulate the best plans of moving forward with our parish. And we will be communicating those plans and those um, results out from that survey with you um, soon. So I hope you're having a great week and we will be in touch. Hi, St. Columba. My name is Tracy Pope and I've been a parishioner for 25 years. So I hope that my face is familiar to a lot of you. And if I haven't met you yet, I hope that I can meet you soon. I wanna echo the uh, sentiments of my fellow parish council members and let you know that we're all praying for you and we miss you and we hope that we can come together in community the way we used to very soon. Just wanna wrap up the video quickly with an update on our outreach ministries. We have some amazing volunteers who have been actually expanding the work we're doing as we're called to serve our brothers and sisters in need. And our food pantry has been uh, serving new partnerships in the community. In addition to, be op to being open on Wednesdays and Fridays, um, we're also bringing food to the homeless population at Purple Cliffs, to clients at the Family Center and to the Navajo Nation. So that's thanks in uh, large part to your amazing generosity. Uh, St. Columba has always been a very generous parish. And during this time of COVID, we're really seeing that um, service to others continue. And we want to invite you to learn more about our outreach ministries. That'll be the topic of one of our coffee chats that Doug mentioned earlier in the video. We hope that you'll um, join us for those and 
be able to uh, give us your feedback, your experiences um, through this time of COVID, and we'll be able to um, let you know more about what's going on in the parish as well. So thank you, God bless, and we hope to see you soon.